everybody welcome to another video from Excel Highway today I want to show you a quick and simple Google Sheets file where you can track your workout activity I personally use something like this and I think it's very useful you can also use your phone you don't have to use your computer and you can track how often you exercise and check your uh, results so the layout is very simple there are dates and you can see that there may be gaps within the dates there are the headers which is the activity name and you see I have here chest bicep shoulders and some aerobics as well don't forget about those aerobics people those are important I have a target for the time meaning I want to make sure I have a chest workout every seven days and I want to have a stomach workout every three days and this is the, let's say the complicated quote-unquote part is how you, you find out how much time passed from your last activity which is this column and I'll get to the formula in a second but what you have to do you have to key in the date for example 18th of May and write something like a checkbox a V, a v for activity and you will see that it will show you the time from last activity right now it's on the 28th or on the 1st of June so it's four days if I add another box here it's gonna to drop to two and so on and so forth and this this works with text so you need to write some sort of text numbers won't help if you want, want to add another other line you just have to go over here add another line let's say hiking every 30 days and I'm just gonna copy the formula and right now there's nothing and I'm gonna write here Mount Rushmore I don't know and it shows me that it's been 12 days since I've uh, last been on a hike if you want to add a date very simple you can I like to copy so it has the same format you can copy let's say today and I'm just gonna add another uh, box and the V and now you see that the time is less than what the target is so I'm not marking it with a color the last part is how to build this function so it's very simple you use the index and match all right and here you can see I'm trying to find match one of the let's say uh, highest order of of a word Z times four and usually you don't have a word that has so many Z's in the beginning so it's gonna find whatever is under that and once it finds that then it's gonna give us the right index uh, of where uh, this is and I'm using index and you see it's on the first row so whatever value I found I find then I'm going to um, pull in the row of the dates and I'm just going to use today the function today which returns today obviously minus that to get that value the last part that I have here is to add a conditional formatting that's very simple I go to format conditional formatting you can see I can add another rule or I just can show you what I already did so I'm applying it to the range I've selected here usually it starts with here so you go all the way to custom formula and the formula is if C2 is greater than B2 give it a 1 or 0 and then I'm just changing the uh, formula that's it it's very simple but very um, very uh, straightforward and it should give you some information to track your workouts hope you enjoyed the video Subscribe if you did, leave a comment, even better. Take care now.